we will create this make.com automation that will collect the latest news articles from the internet on a certain topic, for example, in OpenAI, about OpenAI, and then in the end, it will generate an article based on those uh, articles. So I can go here into result. This is what it generated for me based on the latest news, and I can publish this onto my social to publish this automatically, watch this uh, video tutorial on my channel that I will link down below. Let's create a new scenario here on make.com. Let's search for HTTP request and choose this one, make a request. Uh, you can download this template in my school below. Just click the link below and you will get, there will be a new uh, video here. It's going to be like automate news. So you will just get here. This is my school. If you want to read more about it, click this about and read more about uh, this school. And this is the community as well. I also have exclusive paid community if you are interested. So let's continue with the tutorial. Let's search for news API and you're going to click here uh, newsapi.org. Then you will click this. Uh, you're going to log in or you're going to click get API key to sign up and you will click this get API key. Now, I'm not going to click this because I cannot reroll re -roll my API key for some reason. So it will be some uh, like string of numbers and letters. You're going to see it when you click this. Then you can either read this documentation, but I'm going to leave uh, the link, this link below. So in the sc my school, so you're going to first uh, replace this API key with your actual API key here. So it's going to be just copy paste it here. Uh, then we have this. So so we have this Q equals open AI. This is your uh, query. So if you want to search for Apple news and then we have uh, from, so we need to put this yesterday's date, always yesterday's date, because in the, on the free plan, you, you cannot get today's news. So always put yesterday's date manually here. Uh, we're going to automate this, maybe one of the following tutorials. I haven't figured out how to do this yet. Stored by relevance. You can read more about these parameters in the documentation. Uh, search in title. So this query, Apple, must be only in title. If it's not in title, if it's only in content, then we will not retrieve those views. Language English and API key, and that's it. You're going to copy this. I'm actually re-recording this part, so ignore everything to the right. You will just have this one node. So you're going to paste your URL right here, and then press OK. And then you're going to click this Run Once. Now let's return to the actual tutorial. So now uh, we need to convert this data string into actual JSON. So, uh, so this is just a string. So let's, let's go here and say parse JSON. And then JSON string is going to be this data. Okay. And then, uh, so let me show you what this looks like. I think I'm going to run this once just to show you run anyway. And now if you go here, we see these articles. We have each article. So now it's an object. Now we can click. Everything is parsed properly. It's not just a big string of letters. And then so we have each article has a URL, title, description. But this, this is a small description. This will not work. So we cannot use this description, actually. We need to get a f article separately from this URL later. So now we're going to... Um, ask G chat GPT to select three uh, best uh, articles based on titles. So let's go here and then say iterator. And here, this is the array. So it's going to be these articles. So just click articles like this. OK. And then we will go here and say uh, text aggregator like this. Source mode will be this iterator. Text will be, let's say, article number, and then column, and then a space, and then bundle order position, and then backslash n for a new row. Below that, article title, and then we're going to say this title, backslash n, and then uh, article URL It's going to be this URL backslash n and then let's go down below and put three of these and then backslash n maybe just so we can separate so this is one article so this will aggregate all of the articles so basically 
for each article it will write this and then so this will be first article title url then below we will have this or second article then this so it's gonna it's gonna do this for each article let's press ok i can run this one just to show you what this looks like so run anyway here we have this this is the input but this is the text is the output so this is the output we got article title article url and then the second title uh, second number and then the third etc then uh, let's go here and say open ai and gonna click here and we have this trans uh, text text to structure data and then we need to add a new connection uh, let's go here to google open AI api key and then open ai platform so we're gonna go here to platform openai.com slash playground and then you need to go to dashboard and api keys and create a new secret key and then you name it whatever create a key and then copy it and then go back and paste it here save and then the model it's gonna be I'm gonna use min, mini GPT-40 mini text parser this is the text to parse this is gonna be this text and then prompt I'm gonna copy paste this prompt you are selecting three most interesting news articles about open AI so you need to change this manually for now okay um, so I just show the format and then we need to add structure definition you can also uh, use a node called uh, create a variable or set a variable and then put this in the at the beginning and then just use a variable here so you can easily change uh, the like the topic at the beginning and it will be changed everywhere but if you don't know how to do it just do it manually for now let's go below parameter name urls urls of the article data type is object First property is URL1. First article URL. Data type is text. Let's go, let's go add property URL2. Second uh, article URL. Data type is text. Property 3. Uh, it's gonna be URL3. Third article URL. So it's gonna select the three most interesting articles. This will be text. And that's it. Now, because this is gonna be a bit weird, so what I'm gonna do is uh, transform to JSON. And then I'm gonna give it this result, your URLs actually. And then I'm going to parse JSON again. So why am I doing this circular first transforming then returning back? Because now we will be like, we will have this actual ob JSON object. This, this URLs object that we get from here will not be, I will not be able to use it for some reason. So we need to like transform this and then back again. Now let's iterate through each URL and get the article. So let's go here, iterator, or you can search iterator. Uh, JSON string no 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 there should be this ex this should be here so we don't have it I think uh, let me then run this once let's see what happens run anyway let's see okay it looks like we got something so here we're gonna have these three URLs okay so now I think we will be able to get this yeah so Sorry, we don't need the iterator at all because we already have three separate URLs. So let's go here, HTTP, get a file, and then URL1, and then get the second file. It's going to be URL2, and get a third file. Oh, no, no, no I, I misclicked. So let's go here, HTTP, get a file, and then this will be URL3. Okay. Now we got all of three of these articles. Now we need to put all of three articles in one like text. So text aggregator. 
I'm just gonna combine them. Source, let's put this first. And then article one and down below uh, data. Article two, data. Article three, data for article three. Okay, like that. And then uh, let's say HTML to text. So we need to remove all, all of the useless HTML tags because this get a file will get the whole HTML file. We just need uh, the text inside of the article. We don't need like HTML. Now let's go here. Now that we have this whole uh, everything, the whole text, let's create a chat completion. Uh, use the same connection that you created. Model is mini. I'm going to use mini. So role, uh, let's say system prompt is you are news article writer. I will give you text and you need to write an article based on that. And then add a new one and then user and then text. And that's it. So this should work. Oh, max tokens, let's say 2000. This is it. Let me run this once. Let's see if it works. It's gonna, well, it's already uh, so fast. And now it's writing the article. And if I go here, if I say result, this is the article that it wrote. And it's, it seems to be good. Now I can say, I can say like write a longer article. I can give it more of these. You are, so I gave it only three articles, but I can give more. Etc. And now, if you want to automatically pause this, we can make a router, flow control router. And then you go up here, you say Facebook uh, pages, create a post, and then you connect your Facebook and you just say, like, select your page. So you can add, uh, just watch the tutorial below. This is the message. So it's going to be this result. Okay. And then LinkedIn, for example. If you're gonna do the same, you're gonna create a post now. I'm not sure where it is. And then you can also add a new down below for x, x.com, create a post, but actually you cannot just post this whole thing here if you don't have a subscription, I think. You need to uh, maybe use ChatGPT to break this into multiple tweets. You can watch my tutorial below how to do that. Everything is in this tutorial. So check my uh, school below and join this one for free. Ask any question and you can download this template. I'm also creating a fully automated news distribution system that's going to collect everything automatically, the news, and then post on your social media. It's going to be way more advanced than this. So you can uh, get more information in my school about that. Thank you for watching.